Yeah, well, I, mean, I think our our defensive uh, effort and intensity was was pretty good throughout the the game. It, it definitely heightened in the second uh, second half. But you know, I thought our team responded to um, you know a poor performance against the Knicks, giving up 139 points. And you know, this team scored 137 points uh, last just last game. This team's got a lot of firepower. Washington does. Uh, despite their record, and um, you know, we knew they could do the same thing with us if we didn't if we didn't step up. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so we had a you know a much better performance on the defense side of the ball. Curious, uh, they made the rule change that you could get keep the challenge, you won the challenge. That was well received. Obviously, the had to be feeling even better about it now after the game one. Yeah, they they got two of books fouls back uh, down the stretch, which was. Which was good. Uh, we felt felt good about the uh, both of those situations. I, actually, I, I mean, I had to ask for clarity uh, because I mean, technically there was still a foul on that play, but I I felt like if I challenged it, they would put it on a different player, which they did, Grayson. And then I had to, you know I had to make sure that that's considered a successful challenge, and we would keep the timeout, which we did. So, and, uh, you guys, the twenty eight day run started late in the third, and Kevin kind of had that surge there, and. Uh, what do you feel like maybe from that point forward, uh, the execution offensively, what, what maybe led to that run? Yeah, just uh, Devin Booker. You know, I mean, Kev started at the end of the third, but, you know, Dev, Devin and uh, and I talked to, at the time out, and, you know, it was just he had a tough first three quarters, but that was all behind us. You know, it's time for him to take over. Uh, this is when he's at his best. And, um, you know, he came in and uh, delivered a hell of a performance in the fourth down the stretch uh, after playing heavy minutes. But I thought of the seven minute mark in the fourth quarter. Nurkic, uh, a lot of rebounds. You had 17 rebounds, but I thought his defensive presence inside added a lot, a lot of flying around the ball. There were a lot of guys on the board as well. You can talk about Nur Nurkic's effort tonight. Yeah, he was terrific. You know, we're uh you know, we're we're coaching him hard uh, on what to do on the defense side of the ball. You know, I think uh there were some possessions against the Knicks where uh, we felt like he could have uh, attacked the basketball or protected the rim uh, better. You know, obviously he's not going to be uh, flying around out there, but he's got great size and, and great hands and, and is long. So, you know, we want him uh, to really be a presence at the rim. Um, it wasn't great against New York, but it was really great uh, in the second half tonight and not just at the rim, but, you know, his mobility and pick and rolls. You know, we're continuing to learn our team and figure out uh, the best way to put them in positions to succeed on uh, both sides, but defensively with Nurk, you know, um, you know his ability to jump out and, you know, just impact the ball at the point of the screen was excellent tonight. You know, he did a great job. No, he's an assassin, man. You know, even if uh, things are going as well his way, um, no one ever ever loses confidence in in what he can do and. Um, you know, we know that it was his time to take over the game. So, you know, the the great ones, you know, they possess that. They, they like you said it, they, they possess that that short term memory. That even things haven't gone their way, you know, they know they can take over a game and turn it up. You know, when they when it's needed. Yeah, I mean that that stuff happens more organically. You know, um, you know, Devin's running the point, obviously, but there's times where he's down the floor and, you know, we have a, a multiple ball handler attack. So, you know, that happens organically. I do feel about Eric tonight during the return. It seemed like he's able to get to the rim quite a bit in that first half. Yeah, we always, always talk about his shooting, uh, what he brings to the table that from that standpoint, but his his ability to attack in the open court and uh, put the ball on the floor in the half court as well, you know, is, uh, is a heck of a weapon for us, you know, and he's one of those guys that, that gives us our swag. So it was great to have him back. Yeah, he's uh we want him to star in his role, you know, and that's that's to uh you know be a low turnover guy, a, a setup guy offensively, a six assist, two turnovers, I think six and one last game, and um, you know, to be a, a guard crasher. And you know, he's doing a good job of keeping extra uh keeping possessions alive, getting us extra possessions, extra shots. And um, you know, he had a great performance from that standpoint tonight. Coach John, I still had a late game situation that got it down to one. 
Do you feel better about it because you guys won the game, or is it still an issue? After, after yeah, I mean, it's still a work in progress, but better tonight. Yeah. And uh, Coach was just in there and he said that uh, forget about the first three quarters. It's time for you to take over. This is something you've done, obviously, in your career. But, uh, what do you mean to have Coach say that and then to go out and, and do what you have to do to help them win? Um, yeah, I appreciate him saying that. Um, I mean, we've been here before. You know, I'm in year nine. I've seen a lot of situations. Um, I've been through funks before, and you know, I always figured out when it's when it's time to do what we got to do. I'm curious, even tonight, would you you say figure it out? Would you figure out tonight that that maybe let him get it going? I mean, it's just you know making or missing shots. That's what it comes down to. Um, you know, it's part of the game. You know, I, obviously I get frustrated because I want to make every shot that I take. Um, but when you miss, you just got to keep playing. Um, like I said, I've been doing this a long time now. Now, obviously the big approved to keep the time out, after, keep the challenge, if you win the challenge, that was well received. Uh, got to be feeling much better about it, even now after it paid off uh, big time for the guy. Yeah. Um, I mean, we won two of them, which is important. You know, there's a lot of – critical plays in this game and you know sometimes a call can be the you know the deciding factor on important games so you know to add that into the game where you know it gives the ref some time to you know take a deep breath and revisit the play you know I think it's important start barking, we've got, we've, got, we've got to get going, maybe during a timeout that the coaches say something, does anything happen at that point? Uh, I mean, that's between us and the team. We have a team that definitely communicates and, you know, we, we understand that we're not playing up to our, to our uh, best of our ability. And, you know, we handle that internal. With that saying specifically. Yes, we do. We talk to each other. What was that word? That's nice. I never heard that. <laughs> yeah, I talk. Look, uh, after the, the game against the Knicks, it seems like, like tonight there was a model of no layups. Was that a re reflection of that last game against the Knicks tonight, the defensive effort you got put out? Yes, sir. Um, you know, we, we went over the film and – you know, there has to be a relationship between, you know, each player and the big, you know, it's a pick and roll league and, you know, that communication has to be there and, you know, you just want to take away the layups. I think we've been seeing it for a long time. You want to force teams into contested mid-range shots. Um, but if the big's going to come over and protect the paint and protect the rim, you, there has to be a rotation to make sure his guy doesn't get the offensive rebound. So, you know, shout out, Nurk, shout out, um, Drew, you know, for the carry over tonight, and you know they did a good job of it. Coming into a game with a team like Washington, are you taking them lightly coming in, or are you kind of like overlooking them or playing up to the playing down to the competition? Uh, no, you know I have too much respect for you know everybody in the NBA, every player, and um, you know understanding that they just come off. You know, a game of scoring almost 140 points and, you know, Poole and Kuz both had 30. So, you know, there's firepower all all around the league. And, um, you know, once the team gets an early lead and gets confidence, you never know what can happen. So, you know, I don't take any game lightly. Uh, what both of what things? Uh, I mean, you just have to keep, you know, keep coming in, keep working, keep talking to each other. Um, don't get over frustrated about it, but definitely, you know, feel it. You know, you want to protect home court, and New York came in here and and kicked our ass on our home court. So, um, and we we're on our way to that after the first. 
two quarters of tonight. So, um, you know, we just got to we got to get it together. It's life. <laughs> it's just part of it. It's part of the job title. And, you know, um, it's a long season. You know, there's going to be ups and downs. I've seen it before. I've seen it over again. So, you know, when you're winning, you're on a win streak. You know, you have to keep the, the same mentality and approach as, you know, when you're losing or you lose four out of five. Um, can't be the front running teams where everything's fine when you're winning and then, you know, you start losing. It's the end of the world. Yeah, he came in, he changed the game um, in more ways than one. So I think we were down 10 to, I think, 9 or 10 to start the fourth quarter. And, you know, we are able to erase that quick, and he was a big part of that. Always important. Um, you know, he's a vet. He's been around. You know, he's one of those guys when I say, you know, we, we've seen these stories before. So, you know, he doesn't get too flustered or – you know, doesn't get out of body over, you know, something so little. Um, he just continues to play, and, um, you know, he's definitely a threat out there. Uh, thanks, folks. Thanks. Yeah.